Hello, Justice Good here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a tattoo from a person and how to add another tattoo after you've removed one. This works best um, where the tattoo is on a flat surface and the photo is not at too awkward of an angle. So first make a new layer and grab your clone stamp tool. For the brush size, you want to select a size that matches the size of the tattoo. This is a fairly small tattoo, so I'm going to use a 25 pixel brush. The hardness, you want it all the way down. Um, make these settings all layers, align sample, and 100% everything. Now, you can't just go clicking around to erase, because first you need to define a source for the clone stamp. So hold option or alt click around the edge and you can see that it's brushing from the areas that I select so I'm going to continually attack it in a circular angle and go around the whole thing so I can push the edges inward to create a better illusion you don't want to catch any of the separate edges like I caught a little bit of that white bathing suit string so you want to make sure to watch out for those kind of things and you want to watch out for any muddy looking uh, skin textures or lighting after you finish using the clone stamp tool to hide the original tattoo you can drag on a picture of the tattoo you want to add make sure it's a high quality picture on a black and white background or on a white background specifically and if you can't see this scale thing it's under edit transform scale or apple t and while holding shift I'm going to transform it down to the size that I want I'm just going to do a small tattoo that was similar to the original once you have it angled in and scaled to the size that you want set the blending mode of this layer to multiply and you'll notice all the white disappears. You don't have to do any magic wand or pen tool or any deleting. Now after you position it how you want, I'm going to add a little bit of blur. So Gaussian blur to about one pixel and immediately after go to edit fade Gaussian blur. And I'm going to fade it to about 50 uh, 30 percent to add a little bit of bleed to the ink. Now lower the opacity of this layer to about 80 to 90 percent so it's not solid black. Now go to edit transform and we're going to select warp. Here you can drag each corner and grid line to follow the contour of the muscle or the piece of the body that the tattoo is on. Since I'm using a really suitable picture for this type of thing, the back is pretty flat and there's not much transforming I need to do. So I'm just going to slightly contour it to the muscles in her neck so that it takes the shape of her back and it's not just a flat, clearly photoshopped image. Again, adjust the opacity to however you need it, around 80 to 90 percent. And once you're happy with all that, we're going to create a new layer and image apply image. Make sure you're happy with it before you do this because once you do this, it's all in one layer. Here we're going to add some noise. Filter, noise, add noise. And just do a Gaussian monochromatic at about 1%. You don't want too much, you just want pretty much a, un, like an invisible layer of noise. And this helps to blend the tattoo in so that your eyes can't really tell that it's out of place. Now grab your blur tool, add about a strength of 10, and just make a few clicks around the edges of the tattoo just to bleed some of the edges of the ink out. 
if you want, you should probably do this before you add the noise, actually. But that's all right. It doesn't really matter. These are just uh, finishing touches to help add realism. And add one last sharpen. Filter, sharpen, sharpen. If, you want, if it's too strong, you can fade it a little bit the same way you fade the Gaussian blur. And that's pretty much your final image. But I always like to add a little bit of color to my image. So go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map, and select this default purple and orange. Here we can play with the opacity and blending mode to soften up the colors a little bit. I'm going to set it on, I'm going to duplicate it and set it on screen, and lower the opacity of the normal. So now we have a little bit of softer colors, warm colors, and we have removed an old tattoo and put in a new tattoo. These last steps are optional, but I think they help to create a nicer final image. So there's your before and after. Before, after. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my YouTube channel for a lot more tutorials and subscribe for future ones.